Um, I just want to show you how to make this really nice ribbed dishcloth today. It's an easy project um, to crochet and it um, really would be, make a great like hostess gift or um, a gift for someone um, on maybe your Christmas list to go along with some other things. It can be a dishcloth or you could use it for your face as a washcloth or something like that because it's nice and soft, 100% cotton yarn is what I use. So it's nice and soft and has this little ribbed texture and it just looks really pretty when it's done. So let's get started and um, I'll show you how to crochet it. So okay. You want to grab an, um, a size I um, crochet hook and then you just need some yarn. I use 100% cotton yarn. You can get it on sale um, at Michael's or any of the other craft stores for about a dollar. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to start with your yarn and double the loop here. Then you want to drop the yarn over, bring it back up, and you'll see a little loop here. And then you'll put the tail of the yarn through there, and that makes a nice little slip knot that you can slip up to put um, your crochet hook on. Oops. And so then we just want to chain 27 because that's the length that we're going to need. And to chain, you just grab the yarn, pull through the loop, grab the yarn, pull through the loop. And um, that's all you have to do to make a chain. Okay, so I have my chain, um, 27 stitches in the chain here. And the next step is to start our um, first row of single crochet. So you don't want to go in this first loop, you want to go in the second loop from the end, and or the second chain from the end, I guess I should say. And you want to just um, put your um, hook through, grab the um, yarn, pull through once, and then pull through both of them. Again, go through the chain, pull through one, pull through both of them. Just like that. And that's how you make your single crochet, the first row of the dishcloth. And this is a really, really easy pattern. Um, and that's what it'll start to look like as you're working. So let me go all the way to the end here and show you what it looks like after the first row is complete. Okay. So we have our first row of single crochet all done. This is what it looks like. And so we're at the end and now we need to turn. So once you get to the end, you'll need to chain one and then turn to go back. And we're going to start making the little ribbed pattern here. Um, and you just need to go through the back loop only to um, get that ribbed, ribbing to show up. So you, after you've done your chain and you have turned, then what you want to do is you want to look at the top of the um, stitch here and as you can see on the top there are these little V's for each stitch so we will go into the first single crochet and you don't want to go straight through here like you normally would not under both of them but you want to only go through the back um, the back loop there. So you see you only have the one loop on there and you pull through once and then you pull through the last two. Let me show you that again. There's the V, the front, which is towards me, and the back, which is away from me. Go through just that back loop, grab your yarn, pull through, and then grab your yarn again and pull through again. And so we just keep doing that all the way to the end. Go through the back loop, pull through one, and then pull through two. And the main thing is to remember to go through just the back portion of this upper V. Split it right in the middle and go through the back. And that is what is going to make your ribbing there. So, and as you can see, there's like this little ribbing that's starting on this side. And then on the other side, there's like a little ditch. So that's what's going to give you the, um, I guess not ribbing, but ridge. There's a little ridge that's forming on this side, and then on the other side there's a little ditch. 
and that's what's going to give the texture to the um, to the washcloth here or dishcloth whichever you're making. So you want to just continue on to the end and once you get to the end you should have 26 stitches and um, we'll do a turn. So I'll be right back to show you that. Okay so we want to chain one stitch and then we're going to turn our work and again for the third row and every row after this, all you need to do is go into the back of the stitch and do a single crochet. So that's what you do for each and every stitch, um, a single crochet stitch all the way across. Just be careful not to grab both of the, um, don't go through here. Um, through both all the way through the middle and get both of those because then you won't have your um, ridge forming. And that's what's going to give you the ridge texture on your um, dishcloth. So there we go. See, you can see the valley from the last one and you can see the ridge from this one. And so let me do a few more rows and you can um, you can see a little better the patterns. Let me come back and I will show you when I have about half of it done so you can take a peek. Okay, and here I am halfway done with the um, rib dish um, ribbed or ridged dishcloth. I keep saying it both ways, so I suppose it would work that way either way. Um, as you can see, you have the little valleys and the hills and a valley and a hill. It makes a really nice looking pattern and it gives it a little texture, so when you're washing dishes and things like that, it really helps to clean um, them up. And this is halfway done. You just want to keep going and adding rows um, until you have a nice um, square shape. And then once you're done and you're at the end, you just want to um, tie off the end and then the two little ends here, you just kind of weave them through and they'll stay in um, really well. If you have any questions, just leave them below the video here at YouTube or on my blog if you're on my blog and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you have. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel or and or subscribe to our um, our blog updates which you can find over at the blog and I'll leave them in the description below here at YouTube too. So thanks for watching.